All right. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying the first day at sleep. My name is Abdullah Asiri. I'm the founder and CEO of Lucidia. And today I'll be talking to you guys about the future of customer experience technologies and how artificial intelligence will actually disrupt the market. <clears throat> now, before I go into this topic, I know you guys are tired, so I'm going to share a small story with all of you. And I'm sure this story is very, very familiar with you guys because you experienced similar ones. Now, this story involves two key things. The first thing is an airline. Second thing is luggage. Now, I can, see, I can see some smiles within the audience, so I think you guys can guess what the ending of this story and what the story is going to be about. But you'll have to wait until the end because I'll, I'll surprise you. It's not going to be what you think it will end like. So the story started uh, four years ago. I was invited to speak at an event in Portugal, in Lisbon. So I took a flight that will land at the same day of the event. The flight was long, it has a transit, so I decided to wear a very comfortable clothes. And for me, that was something like pajamas. So I arrived at the airport, and I was waiting for my luggage, which has my suit that I'll be wearing in the conference. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting, and the luggage did not show up. So what I did is I went to the customer service agent for the airline. <clears throat> now, I was, I was very frustrated, and I really unloaded at her. And she ex welcomed me, and she was smiling all the time, and she said, calm down, sir, I'll take care of you. She asked about my name, she put it in the system, and she said, oh, your birthday and after a couple of weeks, so happy birthday in advance. And while we are waiting to resolve your, your, your situation, I'm going to offer you a, a, a latte with skim milk and low sugar, just like the one you like. I was amazed. And I was, actually, I was in my mind, I was amazed and happy because this lady here, she knows me even more than my wife does. And that's just from a first encounter. So <clears throat> I told her my information, and she said, OK, it seems that you're staying at this hotel, and uh, we're going to deliver your luggage there, and we're going to contact you on your number in our system, and we're going to use that using WhatsApp, which it says that is your preferred way of communication. And someone who will speak your language will, will call you. I was happy, but I told her this is not enough because I need to leave for a conference in a couple of hours and my suit in the luggage, in the, in, the, in, the, in the bag. And I need to wear something to the conference. She told me not to worry. She gave me a voucher. And she asked for a driver to go to drive me to the mall to buy a suit and go there. I went to the mall. I bought a suit even better than my suit. And I went to the conference, I gave the best speech ever because I was happy. The experience was, was really amazing. And when I bit, went back to the hotel, my luggage was there waiting for me. That was really great experience. After that experience, I did not stop sharing this story with a lot of people, with a lot of my friends, with my colleagues, even today with you guys. I, I, I did not stop sharing this great experience with these airlines. I even convinced five of my friends to sign up in their frequent flyer program. Now, if you believed what I just said happened after I lost my luggage, you've been fooled. Because this was just fiction. This actually did not happen. What happened, it what was in your mind when I started the story, it was the complete opposite. When I lost my luggage, I went to the customer service agent, and she was really rude. And she asked me to fill out the form three different times. She asked my number a couple of times. And I did not receive my luggage. I went to the conference with my pajama. I gave the worst speech ever. And I, I got my luggage two days after, after the event. So it was the worst experience ever. And since then, I did not stop talking about that horrible experience. And I don't think anyone would, would blame me. I actually, if it's up to me, I would put their logo here just to warn you guys not to use that airlines because the experience was very horrible. And I don't think anyone would blame me. And actually, PwC says that one out of three people, they are ready to leave a brand they love after having just one experience. So it wasn't just me. But on the opposite side, McKinsey is saying that businesses will actually provide 
an exceptional customer experience for, for their customers, they would thrive. They would increase the revenue around 10% and they would reduce, reduce their costs around 25%. Now, this is not new. Businesses, they know this. I'm sure the management of that airline company, they wanted to provide better customer experience for me. But the thing is, they are not able to do so. They don't have the right tools in their hand to deliver that. So what, what I went through, it's called the customer experience. And the right definition for customer experience is the sum of all interaction that any customer have an experience with any brand in his lifetime with that brand. And this terminology is not new. It's been there for a long time. This field of customer experience has been there for hundreds of years. And as a matter of fact, if you go today, ask any company what's the single most important thing in their business, they would say customer. Same answer would apply for businesses even 100 years ago or 200 years ago. So the importance of a customer experience is there and it's not new. Now, the problem is that businesses today, today they cannot deliver. They don't have the right tools because today technologies that will allow them to deliver such a great experience are too expensive. They are too complicated to set up and they are actually stupid tools. And I see it really, they are stupid because they're not, they're not smart. They're just tools from the past that would not help provide a great customer experience. It will help just resolve issues. It's a reactive, not proactive kind of technologies. And this is why customer experience today, as we know it, is broken. Not only in developed country, even in developed countries, customer experience is broken. And we as consumers, we suffer from brands that we love. And those brands, they want to provide a great customer experience for us, but they are unable to do so. And as a matter of fact, if you ask any business how much they're willing to spend to increase the customer satisfaction and customer retention, they would say they're gonna pay a lot of money. But how much they actually spent, if you ask them? Almost none. And again, it's because there's nothing available for them. Now, luckily for us, this won't be the case in the future because things actually started to change. And if there's one, one good thing that came out of COVID-19, it would be the digital transformation. It would be the acceleration of human adaptation of technology. It would be the changing behavior of consumers from being an offline to online, from trying to order by going to the store for accepting the fact that they can actually interact with businesses online. And before COVID-19, usually most of the interaction between consumers and businesses, it used to happen offline, which was you know, regular life. But after COVID-19, even after lockdowns, people are more now encouraged and people are more leaning toward using online channels to interact with businesses. So instead of going to the store, they would buy online, they would share the their feedback online, they would complain online, they would ask for support online, and they would do everything online. And this is actually very important because we did a survey in Lucidia, and 2x, that's the number of people, or number of interaction people are increased after COVID-19. People, if they were doing 100 interaction online before COVID-19, after COVID-19, it increased to the double. So what this means, these online interactions are fueling the customer experience technology because unlike offline interactions, the online interactions are easy to monitor, they can be analyzed, and they can be automated. We can automate interactions. And this was the missing part that would allow us to develop a next generation of customer experience technologies that fix customer experience as we know today. So with this influx of online interactions and the breakthroughs we see in customer and the breakthroughs we see in artificial intelligence and the changing behavior of customers of being online more than offline, we will witness a new generation of customer experience technologies that will fix the problem. These technologies will be so powerful that dreams, once thought of as dreams, will become true. In this field, in the customer experience field, people are dreaming of delivering something called personalization at scale, which means sending the right messages to the right customers at the right time through the right channel. And doing that at scale, which means you can do it for thousands of customers 
at once click of button. This will be, this will be available. This also, customer experience technologies will be accessible. They will be very easy to set up, and they will be much cheaper than what we are seeing today. So the next time you're going to go to your favorite restaurant, you don't have to reorder the same plate over and over again. Your favorite order will be suggested to you. The next time you go to the hotel to check in, you will see the room with the temperature that's set to your preference and the music that's set to your preference. So CX, very soon in the future, will be fixed. And why is this important for you guys? Two things. The first is very important for us as a consumers because future is bright. We will be understood. We will be served in a better way, and this is very critical for us. But also it's very important for, for businessmen, for the companies, because a, a whole new wave of disruption will happen because of this revolution of customer experience. And we saw this. If history told us one thing, it told us that if there's a power in the hand of few, and you give this power to the hand of many, a revolution will happen. And this is what's going to happen in the future. And we saw this before. A disruption that happened before around 20 years ago when a reaching channels disruption, that's when businesses, they had access to cheaper way to reach their customers thanks to online ad advertisements. So the companies that did not leverage this, they were disrupted. And the same thing happened a couple of years ago when again, the selling channel, what that means is that when, when building online stores using Zid and Sella and all the other uh, brands, when it became available and much easier for any company that to have an online presence, what happened? A disruption. The businesses who did not follow, did not do, did not cope, they were disrupted. And the last disruption which is coming now, which is the serving channel disruption, which I'm, which I'm talking about today, which is all businesses will have access to the, the, a way to deliver an exceptional customer experience through this next generation of CX technologies. And with that, a lot of businesses who don't leverage these technologies will be disrupted. So invest in your customer happiness, invest in these technologies, and don't be disrupted. Thank you so much.